What if I told you that you could review any real estate contract, purchase agreements, disclosures, inspection reports in under 60 seconds using just your phone or your laptop? Well, today I'm going to share screen and show you the exact prompt and process that saved me hundreds of hours and helped me catch contract issues that even a seasoned attorney could possibly miss. Now, with the right prompt, you can turn contract chaos into crystal clear clarity in just a few seconds. And I'm going to show you the exact system I use to review contracts, title policies, basically very critical, important information so I don't get sued or get in trouble or to just make me look a lot smarter than I actually am. So you'll see me take a real purchase agreement, break it down in real time using artificial intelligence, and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do the same thing too. You'll have everything you need to never stress about contract review or contract review and preparation to send to the client ever again. Before we dive into the live demo, let me tell you how much this matters to me. So my team and I, we've sold over 9,500 homes, generating over $115 million in gross commission and income. And I can tell you, right, that contract review is my biggest pain point. And one of these uh, reviews really hurt me recently. About a year and a half ago, I was up in Vail with friends, Vail, Colorado, having a couple cocktails. It's about 9.30 at night. I've got multiple deals going on. And of course, I review a deal. I thought that I had did it detailed and I missed a $10,000 seller concession. I represented the seller, buyer presented the offer. I tell the sellers, not tell the sellers, but we go over it. They decide to move forward. I miss the $10,000 concession. They accept the offer, go under contract. And then of course, what happens? No one catches it until about three days before closing. I, the, the sellers call me up. They're a little bit upset thinking that I tried to put a fast one over on them, but we had a good relationship, but that's how I could sense it. And then of course, what happened? I go, that's completely my fault. I ate the $10,000 because I missed one tiny line because I was going too fast, wasn't paying attention. The way that the other agent had wrote it in was not common practice for how we normally do concessions. And I lost $10,000 in about 30 seconds like that because of my mistake. So I don't want that same thing to happen to you, right? And as agents, we're expected to catch every detail and explain it in plain English. And frankly, it's a nightmare. So let's jump in. And if you want this exact prompt I'm about to demonstrate, plus our complete pro, uh, entire contract playbook, just comment SMART below, S-M-A-R-T. I'll send you the whole thing with all the bells and whistles so you can do this from your phone. You can save it. It's going to be super easy. So it'll just be click, click, paste, and you'll be ready to rock. Now, before we go, you have to make sure that as I show you this, you've got to have the right prompt in place because if you don't have the right prompt in place, none of this works. You can't just dump contracts in here and go, chat, please read this for me. I spent months perfecting this system, testing on hundreds of contracts, refining the prompts until they're bulletproof. And now I can show it to you. So, all right, let me show you my screen and let's jump into the prompt. Now, really quick here, you are a real estate or licensed real estate, real estate expert in Colorado. I'm submitting a residential real estate contract. Now, you can put whatever you want here. Of course, it makes it more important if you put your state, your county, your city, um, licensed real estate expert, you could say attorney. I played around with both things, but I found that real estate, uh, residential real estate expert came back with the best results. Then here's what all the things I'm asking it to do. I'm not going to bore you with all of this. You could change these different things, but I'm asking it to look at this no matter what and still find any issues for me. Feel free to customize it, add to it with specific things that you need for your contract. And then here's where the shortcuts become in. I'm asking it in my second task to do a client summary email. Now I'm asking it to summarize all of these things, tone friendly and professional. You could put the exact template of how you want and how you like your emails to be sent and it'll form the entire summary and then create the template. So all you have to do is copy, put in your email and go. And of course with Ch ChatGPT agent mode, soon you can integrate all of this right into your Gmail for you. Well, it's already here, but it's, it's a little clunky right now. Uh, so here's everything ready to rock. Now, all I got to do is go to chat. So I'm, well, sorry, let's go back. So let's copy our, our amazing prompt here. And I'm going to show you some shortcuts on how to save that. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to chat. I'm going to paste into chat here my prompt. 
And then we have a couple of options to make this really easy with our contract. Here's a purchase of contract. So this is, don't worry, I protected, the, I took the real names out and these aren't my actual clients. This, this was a contract from a while ago and I took out the names to be safe. And so this is just a sample one, but look at this sucker, right? This is 31 pages of contract guard jargon. So I'm gonna copy that whole thing. Now, this is one way to do it. I'm gonna show you a shortcut here in a second. And then in the prompt, now we pasted our prompt that you got from me because I love you. And now we go here and it's saying, here is where I need to add the contract. So I'm just gonna paste that there. I'm going to hit go and it's gonna start doing its thing. It's gonna start analyzing. It's gonna start reading it. It's gonna start doing all that stuff. So we'll let that crank here for a second as it gets to the finish line and we'll talk about next steps. Now, as we're doing this, think about utilizing this for extremely long title policies to find errors and mistakes or things that could be of concern. Think about inspection reports, right? You get these inspection reports and sometimes they're written in such weird ways. And if you're like me and a listing agent, of course you have buyer agents that use 14 million different types of home inspectors that are throwing all kinds of different reporting styles at you. I need of the most intelligent eyes analyzing this to find any loopholes, mistakes, concerns. Now, here's a pro tip. Now that you take the inspection report, have ChatGPT summarize it, I can now utilize that to get me bids and quotes. Using the agent function, you can take that and say, please now go and find me top bids and quotes with the exact price range of what it would cost to possibly fix this item. You know how many times my, my assistants were spending times trying to bid things out, whether it was a roof, a hot water heater, those days are gone, baby. We are in the future. And man, I wish that we had this 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Gosh, life would have been a lot easier, but we're here now. So I want you to start thinking about getting your brain going on all the powerful ways that this can be utilized. So those are just some pro tips. Here's what it came back and busted out for me. Look at this. Key terms, contingencies, inclusions, exclusions, everything summarized right here. And now I've got my email to my, my fake client, Bob, with everything right here that I can just copy and paste. Now, I get it. If you don't like the, um, the framework of the verbiage here, right? We're under contract. Here's a quick summary of the contract details, right? If you don't like that, you can put in whatever you want into the prompt template so it customizes it with the first line that you always like to say every single time. I know some of us are very particular about how we like it. I get it, me too, right? But you can do all that right there. Now, all I gotta do, boom, paste that to my client, we're done. Okay. Now I know I was talking a lot in there, but that literally took less than 30 seconds to do. Now here's the second way to utilize this. Now I want to make sure, and I want to talk to chat. So, cause I, or you can type, but, uh, please review this agreement now and point out any major pitfalls that I should be a concerned about, or, or my client should be concerned about. Please use your full real estate expert legal review to provide all the details that are going to let me know anything I should be aware of to make, uh, any concerns for my client. Okay. So you could have said that a lot better. Obviously I'm just doing this live and boom, I'm going to fire that off. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to start analyzing this to find possible as you see here, major legal and transaction concerns to address, right? Seller, seller financing clause loosely defined and seller has an out. It's gonna go through all of these from major to medium. Now, don't go and paste this whole thing in and send this to your client. You're gonna freak them out. Remember, our goal is to help both parties get to the finish line and represent our sellers and make sure that they're moving forward. But if you send them a 40 page analysis of every contract telling them the sky is falling, it, they might freak out. Just make sure that there's AI and then there's you as the guide and you're trying to kind of mold that information together. Now, I'm no lawyer. I can't tell you this. Please make sure anything I'm showing you on you here is educational entertainment purposes only. Uh, we have a disclaimer in our YouTube videos. You don't sue me. Go check with someone. Don't just copy and paste this, send this to your client. Be smart, right? Like this is, I'm just trying to help us so our lives can get easier and, and have another set of eyes on this so so you have another layer of protection and speed and efficiency but look at all this information not only is this going to be helpful but it's going to make me sound like a rocket scientist which i am not when i'm talking to my clients which is what we all want here right so even if you just reviewed this quickly you could go through all of this now 
When I'm in use voice mode, I can actually ask chat to read this out to me aloud. So let's say I'm driving in the car. I don't want to have to read all of this. I could say everything I just did in that prompt, please review to me audibly so I can hear this while I'm driving in my car, right? I can do that now. So, so all I have to do, right? So please move forward now. I'm going to talk to it and it will complete all of those things uh, once I, well, sorry, once I turn on the microphone. So uh, chat, please review the contract that I just did in that last prompt and read it out loud to me. See that? It's going and doing all of that. So remember, that's in the bottom little right-hand corner here and on your phone. It usually looks like a little microphone button or a headphone button. It depends on what app you're using. So boom, it's all this. Now, here's it's giving me final recommendations. So I've got so many ways to utilize this that can make this safer. So we're all in our cars moving at light speed. And I just want to make sure you that you're safe. Um, so, right, this is her talking about when I did the recording and, and it's recording all that in the memory. Now, pro tips and shortcuts. Let's move advanced real quick here. So the last thing I want you to do is make sure that, again, we're going to be doing this mobile. So here's what we don't want to have to do. Option one, well, you can do it this way. Save this prompt to the notes file on your phone, right? You should have a little app called notes, or if you have an Android, I'm not sure what it's called but you could save all of your prompts there. And I do have a full list of all my prompts on my phone just as a backup, but we don't necessarily have to do that. What we can do is once you take this and download and go to our site to get this exact prompt uh, and all of this, all you need to do is copy it, go back to chat. I'm gonna go to a new chat. And what we wanna do is start saving our, our prompts to its memory or your memory. Now you have a login, you have an account, and you have a certain set of memory depending upon what level of account you have. But I can save this into chat so I can recall it anytime I want it to perform this action. So here's how this works. Please take this entire prompt and save it to your memory. I want you to recall this prompt anytime I request for it. I'm going to say, utilize magical prompt review. When I say utilize magical prompt review, you know I'm talking about this exact prompt and then we'll utilize it to complete the task. Please confirm that you understand it, that this has been saved to memory. There we go. Confirm the entire magical prompt review has been saved to memory. Anytime you say utilize magical prompt review, you'll know what to do, summarize. Now you can use your safe word or whatever you want here to make sure that you have that. I'll know exactly what to do with the Colorado, Colorado real estate contract. What that means, right, is this is what I'm, I'm going back to doing. So now, oh, one more thing. To, to add in a contract, right, if I, if I didn't want to do this, this is what I was saying before. Let's say I just want to add it from my files. So I'm gonna to go to add photo files. I'm gonna to go to purchase contract. I'm gonna to go to open. And now it's gonna load that up in here. Now I'm going to go utilize magical prompt review. Watch how fast this is. Boom, booyah, right? Like, look at that. Now it's in its memory. Now it's ready to go. All I did is attach, and pay, uh, attach that contract in two seconds. Now you can take the link from your logins and like CTM DocuSign, but you have to give the, the, the machine permission, the machine, the AI permission to utilize that. So that's all those things that we're trying to do. So imagine how fast this will be on your phone now when you're going boom, boom, boom. You've got it. You can talk to it. I, you know, again, I'm doing it the old school way. Once you're in the actual chat, chat, uh, chat uh, speaker mode, you can just speech mode rather, excuse me. You can just talk to it and be like, hey, I want you to utilize my magical prompt review. And um, I just paste it in the contract, boom. If you then wanna ask it to do a fuller in-depth review. Now, could that prompt that I had made here earlier been more detailed? I could have asked it to, to, to acknowledge all of the contract uh, issues, all of that. You can add that to your prompt. You can do all of this in one stop shop, but then save it to memory, give it a fun safe word and utilize that to recall its memory so that you're not freaking out driving around your car, you know, copying and pasting and losing your mind. 
So this is where we save so much time, energy, and of course, money. Because if I'm, am I able to do this so much faster that I can spend time either A, talking to more clients or B, with my family, my friends, the people that I care about. So now that we have all of that, let's just make sure we close this out so you have all the details and we summarize and then I'll tell you one more pro tip here, okay? So number one, always verify the output. Make sure you're checking the dates, the, the contingency periods. ChatGPT is brilliant, but it's not perfect. I use it to augment my expertise, not replace it. So see, you still need to make sure you're cross-referencing the AI. And, and again, you're on the hook for this. You can't be like, oh, blame AI when you get sued. No, it's just another layer. So this might take you a few more minutes, but now you have a complete understanding of this agreement. You have a professional summary that you can send to clients immediately. And the total time took you three minutes where the old way could have taken up to 25, 35, or 45 minutes. That's a 93% time saving. So remember the golden rule. Always review AI's output, protect confidential information by removing personal details, use ChatGTB Plus or Claude for longer documents. Now, when you've got like a hundred page document or, oh my gosh, let me tell you, HOA docs, boom, 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 right? Think about the possibilities with 400,000 page HOA docs and go, my, my client has a white pickup truck. Is this an issue? Please review the entire docs and find out any concerns right? So since implementing this system, here's what's changed in my business, right? I've con I've cut down that contract review time. I've missed less deadlines and client clauses. And so has my team. My TCs and admins are on a whole different level of professionalism and planet. More time for high value activities like my inbound leads that are coming from my custom listing funnel, listing lead funnel that we'll talk about here in later videos. But the biggest benefit, my clients trust me more. When you can explain complex contracts in plain English, when you can catch issues other agents miss, when you respond to their questions immediately, you become their trusted advisor. And that's how you build a listing driven business that works for you instead of you working for it. So look, this is about not just about saving time on contract review. This is about building a business that gives your life back. The agents who embrace AI for the next dec decade, they're the ones who won't be left behind. And I don't want that to be you. So comment smart below to get all of this, the whole playbook, contract review with the smart prompt, all of that. You'll have everything with implementation guides and then everything you need to transform your contract review process completely faux free. And before you go, if this video helped you uh, see how simple it is to revolutionize your contract review process, I would really appreciate it if you smash that like button and send this to another agent that could use this help or post it on your brokerage's internal Facebook group page and go, uh, this blew me away. Share it with people that just want to make life easier and have a higher quality life. And of course, send it with operational staff, TCs, make sure that they're utilizing this at the highest level and make sure they're trained on it. So I drop new videos every week showing exactly how to build a listing driven business using the latest AI tools, proven strategies, and making sure that we work smarter, not harder, so you can work less and make more. So thanks for learning. I can't wait to see you in the next video.